Thank you for joining our workshop today. So entitled Transforming the Flip Learning into Online. Okay, so first I would like to show the <clears throat> I would like to introduce our speaker today. Okay, so this is our speaker, Associate Professor Dr. Nuhabimi Zainuddin from USIM. Uh, he is currently the Associate Professor at the Faculty of Major Language Studies in University Science Islam Malaysia. He has PhD in Computer Assisted Language uh, Learning from International Islamic University Malaysia. And research focus is on teaching Arabic as a second language and technology enhanced pedagogy. He was also the deputy chairman of the Malaysian e-learning council for public universities, uh, the MEPTA. Currently the editor of International Journal of Language Education and Applied Linguistics. Recipient of the USIM uh, Excellence Service Award for the year 2016 and 2018 and Outstanding Open Educational Resources OER Award in 2017. Uh, he is actively involved in numerous researches uh, in the area of open and flexible learning. Instead, he coined his own term, which is a FLOOP, the Foreign uh, Language Open Online Course, by adapting the concept of uh, learning buffet. Okay, so this is our speaker today. So without further ado, so I would like to invite Associate Professor Dr. Nukabimi to start his sharing. Okay, so if you have any question, you can just uh, uh, type in the message or you can uh, um, ask directly to the professor. Okay, so over to you, Prof. I will give you the, uh, the ball first. Okay. okay, so over to you, Prof. Thank you. Okay, uh, can you hear my voice first, the doctor? Uh, yes, loud and clear. All right, okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Dayan Azra, and also Dr. Nomazlina. Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa ahli bukhlatan min lisani yafqahu qawli amma ba'd. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning uh, to all my colleagues uh, from UNIMAS. So thank you. I would like to thank uh, Akam uh, UNIMAS for inviting me to share a little bit about how can we transform our class, okay, our flip learning into online. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, most of the participants are coming from uh, UNIMAS and we also uh, welcome uh, if uh, there, there are uh, more clicks, uh, more people are coming from uh, other IPTA or IPTS to this session. So uh, the more, the merrier. So inshallah, in, uh, within these uh, two hours, I will make sure that this uh, session will be some kind of, a, uh, will be, uh, make it lively. Kita nak bagi dia lebih hidup. Okay, uh, because uh, the word, the, the keyword or the buzzword here is to transform. So if uh, I just give some lecture, blah, 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 one hour and uh, follow with the Q&A, so uh, I think I can name it as a normal session. So my name is Norham Zainuddin. Uh, and uh, actually, and, uh, just now, uh, I've been uh, introduced by the moderator uh, from Faculty of Major Language Studies, UC Science Islam Malaysia, and my specialization is more uh, in uh, computer assisted language learning. Actually, I am uh, an Arabic lecturer, so uh, I adopt and adapt uh, the use of technology. Uh, we, we are talking about uh, how to use uh, mobile apps, uh, web 2.0 tools, augmented reality and more tools uh, and how can we merge between those two uh, which are pedagogy and technology to make sure our t our tnl or pnp our or right now they call it as pdpr more meaningful uh, with to our student so first and foremost uh, let, let us uh, in, i would like all of you to introduce yourself uh, within uh, three to five minutes. Uh, so take out your uh, handphone or you can use your own laptop. Log on to padlet.com slash Dr. Hamimi 
uh, slash FLDL. Okay. So please go to padlet.com slash dot hamimi slash FLDL. Uh, use padlet. Stop sharing first. Okay, so this is uh, our uh, e attendance, not just for Kam, but for Norhamimi. So let uh, let me introduce you to all participants around the world uh, that have been uh, involved in my uh, workshop. They are coming from Indonesia, from Maldives, from Bangladesh. Okay and also uh, from Gontor and also from Malaysia. So right now, let us uh, join the bandwagon by adding up uh, some people from this particular workshop and also from Unimas. So feel free uh, to double click anywhere in this uh, particular spaces and fill in with a very uh, simple uh, particular about yourself. Let's put your name, which faculty you are coming from, and if you have your own uh, front camera, you can add your own uh, photo. All right, so this is how actually, if you have, uh, uh, because we have only two hours, normally I will compress between uh, practical and theory. So uh, rather than just uh, focusing more on theories, so uh, within these uh, two hours, I will merge between those two. So uh, rather, I will uh, explain a little bit, and then we will go to the practical session. So if you feel, if you, let's say, if you uh, use uh, WebEx, uh, Microsoft Teams, and Microsoft Zoom in your class, normally you will see more and more students uh, actually uh, shutting down or sh uh, they're not using their camera, okay? Uh, the maker can off camera maker. So with with this, uh, some kind of fossil, or I call it as an artifact, we can really uh, understand and we can really uh, acknowledge our student. Uh, see right now, if I say, okay, well, hello, uh, Dr. Voon. So Dr. Voon uh, at Unimas will say, oh, okay, Dr. Hamimi, acknowledge me. Okay, so this is what happened in class. If you, uh, if you have more and more classes, if you acknowledge them properly, normally they will, uh, feel, they will feel happy and they will say, okay, this is uh, um, my kind of class. Uh, I will make sure this is a very uh, great session. So I will make sure that uh, and this is my favorite class because the engagement between the lecturers and the students are quite good. Okay, welcome Dr. Shazrina from FMHS, K Unimas. Mm -hmm. So I will give another uh, one or two minutes, okay, for you to introduce yourself in this uh, Padlet wall. And after that, we will proceed with uh, the next slides. Okay, so this is how actually I uh, record my student attendance. So, uh, and for two semesters actually, when MQA uh, came to USIM and audited uh, my faculty for attendance, I actually use uh, this Padlet. Uh, wherever they want it, uh, we just print it, print it out. So it is kind of a print on demand. Lah. If they, they want to see the attendance, uh, normally I will say, okay, this is an attendance. Kalau you nak tahu gambar lagi, you can see this is my student's uh, picture. So uh, <clears throat> this is how I recorded, not just my, my student's portfolio, but also uh, my student's uh, attendance. Okay, Dr. Duraza Yahya from FSKPM Unimas. Thank you very much, AI expert. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, probably uh, you can help me as well on AI uh, part, and also Dr. Anissa Abdulaziz, uh, she's typing right now, Dr. Tin, uh, Dr. Christina Busa from APSK, uh, I think, I guess from uh, Faculty Perubatan and Sains Kesihatan, Dr. Su Luin, Dr. Intan uh, Fatima, oh, this is from USIM, uh, Dr. Isabel Fong from Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, welcome. 
Okay, so I think uh, let us stop here. Uh, you can you can continue. I will stop, but you can continue. Okay, for filling uh, the your particulars in uh, this uh, padlet. Okay. All right. Let us go again to our PowerPoint. All right, so uh, let, <clears throat> let us uh, uh, let us start with a quotation or citation from Imam Shafi. Imam Shafi mentioned in his uh, uh, prominent manuscript, all humans are dead except those who have knowledge. And all those who have knowledge are asleep. Kita ni kebanyakan yang mengantuk. Macam saya lah eh. Except those who do good deeds. And those who good do who do good deeds are deceived kita seolah merasa tertipu except those who are sincere and those who are sincere are always in a state of worry so i may reckon or i assume that all of you uh, 49 uh, participants or 50 something 50 plus uh, participants in this particular workshop are in a state of worry worry of what because we are worried about our students Okay, we are worried about our student. How did they study? How do they uh, do things? How do they uh, uh, complete their assignment? How do they learn? Uh, how do they discuss? How do they uh, acquire the knowledge? So we are in the state of worry and we are sincere. That's, that's why we want to gain more knowledge and more and more knowledge and on how we can transform our flipped learning uh, towards our teaching and learning session. Okay. Right, so let's see. This is what happened in an internet minute, not in a minute, but in an internet minute. So 2021, I did not receive any uh, internet minute uh, from Lori, Lewis and Chad. So if we are, we are referring to 2020 uh, internet minute, this is what happened. You can see here, 1.3 million uh, Facebook are logging in, uh, users are logging in, 4.7 million uh, YouTube videos has have been viewed, okay, and 6,664, 694,000, okay, scrolling Instagram right now, okay, including uh, our participants, maybe they are, they are working from home, they are working from Unimas, okay, um, I'm sure all of uh, most of you are not interested with Tinder. 190 million emails has been sent, including uh, mine just now. Okay, I've I've sent email. Oh, uh, yesterday I have sent an email to Dr. Azra uh, and Dr. Nomazlina. 59 million messages has been sent uh, through WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger, and 1.1 million spent online. Okay, uh, today is second uh, of March. Um, Tomorrow, Shopee, tiga tiga, third of March. Uh, semua orang dapat, eh? every one of us uh, receiving the, the same uh, uh, ads from Shopee. Okay, third of March, uh, shopping spree. So actually from this uh, internet, internet minute, we can see that our students are ready. Okay, uh, even though now we are talking about uh, students are not getting uh, enough uh, bandwidth, uh, devices, okay, uh, PDPR, uh, more and more students are, are studying from home, but now a uh, school is opening, uh, students are coming back to the school, and I think most of the problems and issues and challenges have been solved a bit, okay, a little bit from uh, one bit to another bit. So uh, I think <clears throat> this is what happened. Actually, students are ready in terms of their uh, uh, iTech savvy, uh, they are IT savvy, but the thing is, uh, how about the educators? Are we ready? Okay, the big question mark here, are we ready? For Unimas, uh, I think most of you are ready, alhamdulillah. But I'm talking about generally uh, through, uh, for the whole uh, country, 
teachers, educators, and as well as uh, lecturers from the higher education institution. Okay, so uh, let's watch this video. What is 21st century teacher learning or classroom is all about? You can see there uh, from the video, okay, actually the world is dynamic. Uh, it's just, it's, and the teacher learning is not just about technology. Uh, we, are, we are talking about more skills, soft skills and hard skills. So the big question mark here, how can we make the classroom as dynamic as the world around us? Okay, so I would like to hear from you all of, uh, from all uh, from the participants. How can we make the classroom as dynamic as the world around us? So I would like all of you to um, go to uh, menti.com. Okay. Okay, please go to menti.com and use the code one five four five zero five seven. Log on to menti.com and use the code one five four five zero five seven. Right, choosing the right instructional methods. Good one. Create authentic learning environment. Yes, you are right. Hundred marks. Interactive two way teaching. Yes, not just one way. Uh, using Webex, uh, thirty minutes, blah blah blah, and then. Uh, continue in uh, WhatsApp group. Okay, teacher, teacher, uh, teacher, all rounder will give the teacher work to teacher give the uh, instruction. Teacher do this. Teacher find that. Teacher will merge this. Teacher will combine this and that. Teacher will ask and teacher will answer himself. So, so we we need two way two way communication, two way interaction. Provide more real world cases for in-class activities, okay, yes, real-world cases, two-way communication, okay, uh, some of the responses are not redundant because I think uh, good minds think alike, right? Q&A, okay, always uh, do question and answer with your student. Sometimes uh, the question should be coming not just from teacher, but from uh, the student themselves. Good interaction between students and instructors, yes, be innovative, go out, see how the world changes. Yes, so uh, that means that we give a first-hand experience to our students. Balance the learning environment between virtual and the real-life environment. Good one. Alhamdulillah. As you, as you can see uh, in the video, uh, uh, jobs, eh? uh, pekerjaan. There are many new jobs that did not exist be, be, uh, before 2020. Now you can see from the job street, uh, the, the position is a uh, Facebook analyst or social media analyst. And uh, the salary is around 4,000 to 4.5 thousand. Okay, so actually people will, people will start uh, questioning, okay? People will start uh, asking. Hey, without degree also, we can we can be the social media analyst one, right? So how can we as a university lecturer educators, we can tackle this kind of question, okay, from the society? Okay, so I think, uh, okay, let me scroll down a bit. Game-based learning, okay, good one. Collaborative learning between students and lecturers. Immediate and constructive feedback, okay. So the word here is feedback, alhamdulillah, good one. Two-way interaction, be in the flow and acknowledge student, as Hamim, Dr. Hamim did earlier. Yes, acknowledge your student. Uh, but the question here, doctor, if we have 400 from, um, uh, from mata pelajaran umum, like TITAS, like ICT, like uh, uh, ethics, we have 
some kind of mass uh, student, mass uh, audience in our class. We have 250. If you if we acknowledge each and every one of them, doctor, 250, one student, one minute. 250 student, doctor, habis masa kita. So how can we acknowledge the student, uh, doctor? Okay, this is the, the not just secret, like, not uh, original recipe secret by uh, KFC. This is a very important one. You can appoint your little uh, or your co-pilot. Normally, I will uh, appoint little Hamimi. So they will, let's say I have 250 uh, students. So I will assign 10 little Hamimi to be like Hamimi and to acknowledge all of them. So, uh, okay, so uh, I did a breakout room and then this uh, little ambassador, uh, they will go to their uh, province, okay, province or to their uh, district and welcome and acknowledge every and each one of them. After they finish, they will report to me back and I will acknowledge these 10 uh, little ambassador. I will, see, I will say, okay, now I have sent 10 ambassador to uh, every group, each, uh, every group. And I can see all your pictures uh, here. Okay. I just do a screenshot and share to all of them. You will see. Ah, so actually, Dr. Hamimi acknowledged us, okay, with different ways. Encourage the student to become actively involved in the process of learning. Teacher or educator have or has to use online interactive presentation tools, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so this is a Unimas 21st century learners. Okay, you can see uh, on my on your left side is hierarchy, whereby the student normally they will uh, learn from their lecturer and lecturer, senior lecturer from their associate professor, associate professor from their professors and professor. They have uh, Mahaguru here, maybe their DNCA, their their NC. Okay, but right now, because thank you and shukran to COVID-19, actually, our students, including Unimas, actually, they are learning using iCoining as a wirekey. What do I mean by wirekey? Wirekey means if they uh, send a message to your WhatsApp on at 2 a.m. in the morning, okay, nobody will answer it, okay? Uh, let's say, Dr. Hamimi, at 2 a.m. Uh, macam mana ni, Dr. Hamimi? I, I, I want to, uh, what are the differences between qualitative and quantitative uh, method at 2 a.m. in the morning? If Hamimi is still asleep at that time, 2 pagi kita masih lagi tidur, we don't answer our uh, the question from our student. Do you think that the student will wait? They will not wait. They will ask from, yes, they will ask from Prof, prof or Sheikh Google. They will ask from YouTube. Okay. This is the, the uh, as, met, as a matter of fact, actually, when they come to your class, uh, during your class, uh, whether you are using uh, Zoom uh, for synchronous class, you are using Zoom, WebEx, or Teams, actually, they are Googling, they are searching more and more information from another sources. This is what I call wirekey. Okay. Um, so if, if you don't answer, they don't wait for you. They will ask from maybe from other real relevant or irrelevant sources like Wikipedia, uh, from, from YouTube. Nobody validate that kind of information. Okay. Except people are, are like a subject matter expert. So the question here, how can we cater this Unimas 21st century learners? Assalamualaikum Dr. Hamimi. It's me again. Assalam. Okay. Hari ini memang student suka banyak bertanya. It's okay. I love to, to answer doctor. It's okay. Uh, cumanya, I mean, all these are interesting. I mean, even at this age, I, I find Kahoot very exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, cumanya, I, I need to know, does this kind of game take up a lot of their data plans? But student-student kita kan, uh, not everybody has, you know, the the financial uh, capacity to get 
maximum punya ni. Correct. Ah, uh, so do you think this kind of games will suck up a lot of their plan? Yes. It does, so, right? It Because does. It it does. That's why before uh -huh. uh, after we finish with this kahoot, uh -huh. I have to show with and share with all of you before we do anything. Okay. Before we choose any tools, kahoot, whether to go for quizzes, whether to go for WhatsApp and Telegram. We need to know a little bit about the background of our student first, because for 2021, the mantra is not just about plug. We are talking about plug and unplugged. Okay. Uh, but uh, knowing that uh, all the participants are coming from from lecturers, that's why I use Kahoot. Okay. Um, but that's why uh, before before the workshop, I asked um, Dr. Azra, Dr. Azra, what kind of audience we have? Uh, how about your their connect connectivity? Uh, Dr. Azra said, okay, no problem, Dr. Azra. Kebanyakannya ada internet yang okay. But for students, we have uh, maybe 80%, uh, 20, 80%, 20%, 50-50. So we need to diversify on how we use the tools. Thank you very much, Dr. Shaifa, for your question. Okay. All right, all right, thanks. Okay. Okay, we have 23. Can we start? 24. Okay, I think let us start. Okay. One, two, go. The first question. We start talking about learning stars. 11 question, three, two, one, go. The first question, which learning style takes a lot of notes so they can see the words? You can see the words they are spoken. Okay, so kebanyakan yang betul, Alhamdulillah, most of you. Okay, auditory. So uh, actually visual learners, they take a lot of notes. Okay, even though they have a uh, uh, Teams, uh, PowerPoint, they're still jotting down their own notes, okay? Right, let's see. Wow, Dr. Bell, okay. Next, question number two. Which learner may not study well at a desk? Yeah, kinesthetic learners. So I think uh, kinesthetic learners normally in UCM, lah, I can see uh, students coming from uh, faculty of uh, FKAB, Kejuruteraan Alam Bina, architecture students, uh, engineering student, medical student, dentistry student. When I do some kind of uh, research, I, I ask them using the memletic uh, learning styles, uh, most of them are kinesthetic learners. I think uh, most of the lecturers are coming from medical and dentistry. Nah? Nanti kita tengok, eh? uh, we will see the questionnaire. I, I will spread out the questionnaire. Let's see if you are a kinesthetic learner. Okay? Uh, that means in our class, if they are walking a lot, okay, doing things and this and that, uh, most of the lecturers will say, Ahmad, sit down. Okay? Or in our teams, kenapa you need berjalan sana, berjalan sini? Dia tak tahu nak jawab. Student, they don't know how to ask answer you back okay rather than they are they are staring at you at your camera okay for one hour tops actually kalau dia boleh jawab they will answer back to you i am kinesthetic learner dr hamimi sebab dia tak jawab saja sebab dia tak tahu okay right um oh dr bell oh dr nadira okay alhamdulillah uh, climbing up okay question number three These learners like to talk to a partner while they study. All right, auditory learners. So we have auditory learners among us. 
but right now we disallow them we, uh, they, they, are, they are not allowed to open their mic okay of course uh, we have instruction okay if uh, one people is talking right now the others will uh, mute the, their mic but you can also uh, use a breakout room whereby they can uh, discuss between each other so this is how we can uh, encourage students to talk and to use their mic to talk and discuss with their partner uh, okay all right so still dr nadira question number four these learners walk around a lot when they have to memorize something. Okay, so all of you already get the um, the message actually, kinesthetic learner, okay, the move out, uh, quite some time okay regularly yeah because they have sometimes they will memorize something student will come here and uh pdpr duduk kat rumah pun dapur pergi living room kitchen living room kitchen living room okay it took maybe because they are not kinesthetic learners because they are hungry so they go uh, back and forth back and forth dr nadira nadira still there masha allah dr nadira ni dah tahu ke soalan-soalan saya ni uh, mana tahu eh Next, question number five. These learners will use a highlighter to see the main idea. We will see some of our student books, eh? full with colors, full with highlighter. Why? Yes, because they are visual learners. Okay. Alhamdulillah. All right, say Dr. Nadira there. Question number six. These learners like to do hands-on activities. So for architecture, for engineering, medical student, dentistry student. They like to do hands-on activities because they are kinesthetic learners. So saya nak tahu juga nanti, I, I really want to know uh, medical doctors banyak eh, yang join kita ni uh, uh, from engineering, from architecture, alam bina, eh, environmental build, uh, kita nak tahu whether they are really kinesthetic learners. Let's see. Or oh, they have uh, a few multi, uh, multi intelligence but maybe kinesthetic is uh, dominant. Okay, it's maybe dominant. Ah, Dr. Nadira dah kena potong dah dengan Princess S. Oh, siapakah Princess S itu? Dan Dr. Bell. Okay, question number seven. These learners excel when they listen to lectures. Ah, yang ni lah baru yang suka. Okay, students yang suka sangat kepada lectures. Because we are lecturers. So, lecturers normally they lecture, kan? Yes, auditory learners. Okay, so if you have more and more auditory learners in your class, then lectures is a very good methodology okay, to be used for them. But the kinesthetic learners, you give lectures, okay, they will see, and after 10 minutes, they will start moving their, their limbs, eh? okay, their parts. They will, they will like to move around, moving here, ke sana, ke sini, ke sana, ke sini. Uh, auditory learners dia yang akan stay listen to your lectures, to your Zoom, to your PowerPoint lectures, to your uh, podcast, to your audio. Uh, okay. Oh, Dr. Bell dah ada keluar api lah kat atas ni. Laju sangat ni. Pakai handphone apa tu? Ataupun pakai line apa tu? Oh, nak tunjuk brand pula ya. Okay, next. Question number eight. These learners would rather give an oral presentation than written work. Suka sangat uh, present in front of the people. Tak suruh buat apa-apa pun, uh, lecture, uh, doctor, I would like to present in front. Who are they? Uh -huh. Auditory learners, yes. 
Okay, sebab bila dia dengar when they they speak, they will listen back, they speak, they want they listen back. Okay, normally they will rather give an oral presentation. If you ask them to give a, an essay, maybe they will, uh, they will, they can perform, but normally they will stumble up a little bit. Okay, but for the trillions, when they ask them to, to uh, present in front of you, they will uh, put up their hand and they will just do the presentation. This is what happened in, in our daily life, communication. Uh, some people, uh, when you would like to call people, uh, the people, people will ask back, hey, WhatsApp je lah, WhatsApp je lah. But we, as an auditory learners, we say, oh, tak boleh lah, I, I need to call you, I need to speak to you, I need to listen your voice. Why, why, why can why you can't just uh, WhatsApp me? Hey, because I am auditory lah. Student tak boleh nak cakap macam tu, doctor. They don't know how to explain that that they are auditory learners. Kita keep on bagi, bagi, we just give, 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 give. Okay, without even, without even uh, actually uh, segregating and put them in there. Okay, these are auditory learners. They are, these are uh, kinesthetic learners. We just blanket, uh, okay, a uh, one size fits all. That doesn't have, uh, there is no one size fits all actually. Okay, next, Dr. Bell is still there. Next, question number nine. These learners could read their notes into a recorder or recorder and then play their notes back to study. Right. They will record to their iPhone, to their uh, handphone, and then they will listen back. I think most of us during our meeting also, we, we tend to record uh, whatever the pengurusi said, the secretary, and then we listen back, okay? Ah, yes, auditory learners. Hmm. So when student record your voice, record your WebEx, record, uh, perhaps, uh, most probably, they are auditory learners. Question number 10, copying and recopying your notes helps these learners to study better. Right, visual learners. Yes, sometimes we, we ask our student, "Hey, we you I, I've already disseminated all the materials for educational material for you. Why you need to copy again?" Bec okay, so this visual learners, visual learners, normally you will say because they are visual learners, doctor. Okay, you have your own notes, but I tend to recopy because I would like to strengthen my short term memory to become a long term memory because I am visual learners. Okay. So I will copy and recopy to strengthen my mem memorization. Okay, Dr. Bell still there. And question number 11, final question. Listening to music helps these learners to focus better when they study. All right, I'm sure most of you, uh, okay, saya dah pergi dah. I, I've been around, I've been to uh, Korea, to Australia, to Singapore, to Bangladesh, uh, most of them, uh, to Indonesia, to Philippines, Singapore, most of them will answer auditory learners because the word here is listening and music. Okay, tengok bye-bye. Eh? Sekarang, listening to music help them to learn these learners to focus better when they study. They are not listening to their notes. They are listening to other things. Listening to music, not to their lectures, not to their lecture notes. So, but so actually, this is this kind of a multitasking. They study, they study their own notes, but they are listening to something else, to music. So these are kinesthetic learners. Well done to one this uh, uh, particular person, particular doctor. I don't know whether you. Uh, answer it right or you tersilap jawab sebenarnya. Sebenarnya you nak jawab auditory learners sudah. Okay. So thank you very much.
Listening to music have this learners to focus better bukan listening to their lecture notes. That's why I put it as a question number 11. Okay, got nervous? Let's go to the result. So the podium, okay, kindly uh, claim your prize from Kam. Percutian tiga hari dua malam di Kuching. Okay, so give a big round of applause to Dr. Bell. I think it's Dr. Isabel, good, then. Right, so in our class actually, when you want to flip, you want to transform your, your uh, teaching and learning uh, into online, the, you know, the praise, uh, you need to uh, make sure that the rewards, okay, will be given to your student. Buat macam kelas biasa juga, okay? Okay, uh, congratulations, Dr. Bell. Number two, Dr. Dr. Princess S and Dr. Anissa. Okay. Right, let's go back to our PowerPoint. All right, so um, because uh, just now Dr. Sharifah uh, asked me, uh, Dr. How do we, how do we, how can we choose what kind of consideration should be taken into account before we choose the tools, okay, that should be, uh, that can be used in our class. Okay, and uh, some of the research, uh, some research uh, I might see uh, they, they, they put there, uh, learning style is just a myth. Oh, ada yang kata learning style ni sebenarnya myth saja. I, I answer, for me, if, if this is just a myth, why I'm wearing grey today, you are wearing white. Why don't we use uh, uh, white? Because you have your own preferences. I have your, my, my own preference. So students, they have their own learning preferences as well. So uh, sometimes they'll say, Alah, sebenarnya student ni sama saja. Uh, they have all of it. They have kinesthetic, they have auditory, they have uh, uh, visual. Actually, they are all. But uh, in terms of uh, which which is which is dominant, maybe this kind of part is bigger than this. Uh, but I, I still believe that we have our own preference. Okay, let's see this video. Okay. So I don't ask all of you to dance, okay, in front of your class or prior uh, entering your class uh, in front of your camera. Uh, what can you see from this video actually, doctor, participants? You can you open your mic a little bit. You can open your mic. What can, what can you digest from this video? Uh huh. We know the student's preference. Okay, good one. What else? Student will be very, very happy if... Students are always looking forward yeah. to, to the class. Hello. Uh -huh. Student looking, looking forward to... Hello. Hello, yes. Yes, uh, Sikia trying to create a friendly environment. Okay, a friendly environment, good one. Yes, the environment here, okay. Okay, na, la, last one, last one. Create an engagement. Engagement, student will be very happy if you uh, uh, greet them in their own way. Sometimes, uh, kita lecturer kan, kita dah lama, we, uh, Kadang-kadang, alah takkanlah saya nak pergi tepuk-tepuk-tepuk macam ni kan. Sometimes we need to. Okay, sometimes we need to. So, to create the rapport with our student first. And then, when you create the first uh, first week, second week, third week, if you can create this environment to our student, you can bam them. I will guarantee you, the next 10 or 11 week, it will they will be yours. They will be yours, for sure. Uh, okay, and doctor, doctor, nak pergi mana ni? 
Ah uh, kejap lagi pukul 10 mak ayah I have a class with Dr Sharifah Begum. I want to uh, uh, attend. Eh, kata demam, uh, demam pun nak pergi juga because I feel happy. I feel very very uh, feel 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 uh, orang kata apa very comfortable. Okay with the teaching of this particular doctor. Insya-Allah. Insya-Allah. Ha. So so uh, uh, when 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 me. yes. There are some response from uh from participant in chat room they said that uh, from dr sharina fun and engagement fun engagement okay yes and from dr anisa said positive vibe before start the class all right so, and dr isabel said fun and interaction yes yes so let's say even though this student yang kita tak tahu maybe this fellas number one, okay submitted his assignment number two, this girl maybe not yet to submit uh, her assignment tak kisah janji dia selesai dulu masuk dulu kelas we create a fun uh, environment so budak tu dia tak kisah dah uh, kita dah letak sama rata je whether dia are good dia are fast learner dia are slow learner uh, according to their, their pace they still would like and would love to enter your class because we don't discriminate them anymore masuk je kita dah sama ratakan make them equal equalize right Okay, what can you see from this picture of oh, food eh? Food. Pukul 11.07 minit dah rasa lapar kan? Okay, maybe in this picture we have 160 dishes or more. Okay, but some people when they see and when they go to this restaurant or this hotel, uh, surprisingly, they will ask back, what do you want to eat? Eh, yeah, I don't have, I don't have nothing. Tak tahu lah. Tak tahu nak makan apa. I don't know what to eat. The question here, why? Yes, participant, why? Kenapa ada orang kata pergi kat sini? Saya tak tahulah nak makan apa. So many options. So many options, good one. What else? Lampang mata. Rambang mata, yes. Okay. Malas nak fikir. Malas nak fikir, yes, betul. What else? Tak ada specific expectation. No specific expectation. No specific expectation, okay. Quite close. Ah, uh, Rambang mata, okay. Dr. Shazina, rambang mata, okay. Sebenarnya, what uh dish preference sedikit okey oh dah, dah banyak guna nama preference pula kat sini eh eh pandai betul orang unimas ni best okey even though we have 160 dishes or more more but none of them or none of it already eh, apa dia none of them actually attracts me or suit with the requirement of mine. Banyak makanan tapi tak ada yang kena selera. Saya cari daripada tadi sambal belacan. Sambal belacan. Where is sambal belacan? No sambal belacan in this picture. There is no sambal belacan in this restaurant. I'm from kampung. I love to eat sambal belacan. My lunch without sambal belacan, there's no lunch for me. Okay, so maknanya pelajar kita dalam kelas we give them 160 uh, open educational resources from Han Academy, from uh, YouTube, from Wikipedia, from here and there. Kalau kita tak tahu apa dia preference student kita, none of it will attract, attract them. None of, the, of it will suit the requirement of our student. Okay, same goes with this. Uh, Orang uh, for female uh, lecturers, normally they know lah, this is the color of scarf or tudung. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this is a secret of uh, mine and all of you participants. Let's say in my wife's uh, wardrobe. Okay. Bila buka wardrobe saja, kalau for non-Muslim, maybe this is the color of your blouse or, or your uh baju kurung or your ni lah okay, shirts eh one day we would like to go for wedding ceremony ada orang kahwin and my wife 
tell me uh, bang tak ada tudung nak pakai I, I, I was just like what uh, tak ada tudung nak pakai I was like ya Allah oh my god from li- from here leaf green down to tangerine orange you don't know what to wear to this wedding ceremony the question here again why why doktor doktor sekalian why banyak ni tudung ni tak ada tak tahu tak boleh tak tahu nak pakai apa kalau kes kenduri kahwin dia lah doktor Samimi ya eh. i think okay. because, uh, our masyarakat sekarang dah ada tema-tema matching so, so nak nak matching ha okey kita cakap matching lah macam tadi makanan kita kata rambang mata banyak sangat okey ada doktor Shazrina isu dia color block okey okey So sebenarnya isunya adalah uh, abang tema uh, the themes of this wearing ceremony for today is one color between this yellow highlight pen and this milky orange. There's another color here. One tone, one tone uh, lebih cerah sikit dia kat sini. Tak ingat nama apa. Saya macam oh my god. Oh maksudnya macam Dr Sharifah Dr Shafina sorry Dr Shafina Begum sebut tadi bukannya tudung tak ada tapi tudung yang ada ni it does not fit with the requirement of that wedding ceremony itu aje tak bukan tak ada tudung nak pakai macam makan tadi kita kata hey you have 160 dishes and somehow you didn't you don't, you don't know what to eat come on man kita kata memang banyak tapi tak kena So inilah dia yang student kita hadapi sebenarnya. Okay, flood. Okay, information flood. But that none of them really uh, suit with the, their requirement. You don't know whether they are their visual learners, their kinesthetic learners. Sekarang ni kita dah tahu dah. Kerja uh, wedding ceremony tu, the color is here. So we just padankanlah match uh, our tudung, our kasut and our blouse, our baju kurung with the theme of the wedding ceremony. Okay, itu yang saya nak masukkan tu. So, actually, what is your learning style? Actually, we have visual learners, music, auditory, verbal learners, physical and kinesthetic learners, solitary learners, social learners, and logical and mathematical. So, if you really want to transform your flip learning, flip custom uh, normal already, but how can you transform is, my advice is to make sure that your flip classroom really suit with your students you need to make sure that you really know what kind of student they are because visualists they prefer to use picture and images but music on auditory they prefer to use sound and music verbal they use words both in speech and writing physical they prefer using uh, hands-on uh, sense of touch logical and mathematical they prefer to use logical reasoning and system they always know they always ask us why apa logic di sebaliknya what kind of reasoning social learners they prefer to learn in groups or with other people and solitary learners they prefer to work alone and you self study but right now if you are uh, let's say they are solitary learners they you uh, you always ask him or her to make a group uh, assignment the solitary learners will be uh, will be will feel abandoned okay so who says that learning styles are just a myth so what type of learners are you um i don't know whether we have uh, much time you can open uh, bit.do/flooclls okay uh from this uh, memletic learning styles it can be uh, uh, you can uh, surf this uh, website using uh, arabic malay portugal uh, spanish even uh, for japanese mandarin so they have a uh, world languages you can you can use uh, this kind of a questionnaire i think we, uh, uh, this questionnaire questionnaire has uh, 70 items okay so i think uh, long to go So uh, maybe after you finish with this uh, uh, session, you can practice uh, and you can disseminate uh, this question with your student. 
So normally, when first year student they come to UCM, UC, UC Science Malaysia, normally we will give this kind of um, questionnaire. So from the result from this questionnaire, we can report back to our TNCA to your e-learning center for Unimas. We can report back to your to come for in UCM. We can report back to our goals. Okay. Uh, uh, Prof TNCA actually for session uh, semester one 2021 and 2022 student from FPSK we have 70 student 70 percent student are visual learners 20 percent 20 percent are auditory learners and only 10 percent are tactile or kinesthetic learners so from this kind of data Prof TNCA FPSK, we would like to buy or to purchase more uh, video cam, okay? And uh, because we would like to record more videos, more interactive videos for our 70% uh, visual learners. And we will use only 10% uh, from the 14 weeks to use uh, our, uh, uh, with our uh, printed materials. So, if you, you have this kind of data, baru kita tahu. First week, you nak start dengan apa dulu? You nak buat flip classroom pun? Whether you want to start with video first, with the FAQ first, with the article journal first. Kalau kita kita tahu 70% of our class. So, if we start our class with the video first, they will be very happy lah. Macam budak yang masuk kelas tadi, tok 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 tampak 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 tu kan? But if you start your class with the very uh, heavy article journals from Journal of Medical for this uh, tactile learners, they're okay lah. Tapi yang visual learners ni, oh, oh, kena baca lagi. Boleh tak doktor bacakan paper ni, summarize, bagi dalam bentuk video. Uh, you can ask them. Oh, saya tahu bahawa 70% uh, of the FPSK students are visual learners. So from this uh, article journal, I would like uh, this five group to convert uh, from uh, this uh, printed uh, article to a video. Please summarize and synthesize, and then share with our uh, with all of uh, the rest of the uh, faculty members or the rest of the student. Uh, barulah pelajar tu rasa, oh, Dr. Hamimi sebenarnya acknowledge kami. Bukan dengan kita buat tadi, tepuk-tepuk tadi, tapi dengan mengetahui. Acknowledge our. Walaupun bahan tak banyak, tetapi it really uh, fit with our requirement. Rather than, okay, this is the video, this is the audio, saya dah bagi macam-macam dah. I give, uh, I, I share with all of you all sort of uh, materials. Apa lagi yang you nak? Bukan apa lagi yang you nak. Tapi apa yang kami nak adakah lecturers really uh, entertain, okay, the needs of the student. Okay, so saya tak sempat nak buka ni. Uh, we, we don't have much time, enough time. So kindly, uh, okay, log on to uh, to bit.do slash f-l-o-o-c-l-s. And then from there you will see uh, whether you are dominant in visual, logical, verbal, solitary, physical, or oral or auditory learners. Okay, so if we can see, uh, if I might relate, okay, when customers they go to restaurant, okay, uh, biasanya normally they will get the food menu, right? Uh, set A Malay set, set B Chinese. Uh, repeat the link, okay? The link is bit. do. Okay, uh, siapa yang dapat tu boleh share di ruangan chat. For those who get uh, the link already, could you please share with all of us in the chat group? bit.do slash f-l-o-o-c-l-s. Okay, uh, so normally when uh, we come to, uh, when we go and visit restaurant, eh, we will get the set A, Malay set, set B, maybe Chinese set, set C Indian set or you want you want to go for nasi lemak uh, nasi goreng or mi hai lam so you, you can order and your uh, set will go to the to the cook so when the chef and cook got the customer order 
he or she will set up the ingredient first and then way to cook, whether you want to fry, you want to boil, uh, you want to uh, 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 bake, okay? And then the instrument. Let's say you have a big wok, a uh, small wok, okay? But you want, if you, you want to, uh, to cook uh, fish curry, can you, can you make, uh, can you cook your curry uh, using this uh, small wok? The answer is so, the answer is yes but maybe it will take two or three days. But if you have a big wall, uh, within uh, half an hour or within uh, one hour, your, your curry is uh, already good because you, ha you have fine, uh, you have used uh, the uh, suitable instrument for your curry. And you will be uh, controlled by theories and practices in the hospital, uh, hospitality industry and you have the chef code of ethics, okay? So when you cook here, the food buffet, you have set A, set B, and set C, and the validation will be done by the master chef. Master chef will come, okay, this nasi, gram, nasi goreng is quite salty. Next time, please uh, lessen the use of salt. Uh, ini pad, uh, uh, this is a less uh, hot, okay, kurang pedas. Next time, please add more chilies. Okay, and in this food buffet, you put the tagging. When we go to restaurant, okay, you use the food, uh, you, you, when you go along the food buffet, keep, uh, normally customer will keep asking the same question. Ini uh, daging ke kambing? Kita pun jawab. Then we answer, kambing. And then second, ini daging ke kambing? Kambing. The third one, ini daging ke kambing? Kambing. We start to scream. So rather than you, you start to scream to your customer, why not you, you put there lah, tag, tagging. Ini kambing, masak, kicap. So when the fourth customer, they come, oh, kambing masak. Tak tanya dah, kambing ke lembu. Because you put the tagging there. Right, so how do we relate this with our flip learning? Yes, when our learners, Using that memletic interactive learning style assessment, you already acknowledge what, what kind of student they are. Maybe they are visual learners, they are auditory learners, they are kinesthetic learners. So when you get these uh, learning preferences, we at Unimas or we at Calm, as a learning designers, then we know the learning preferences from the student, barulah kita start Content, PK content dulu. Then after content, jump to technology? No. Choose the pedagogy first. Whether you want to go for PBL, problem-based learning, for scenario-based learning, for flip classroom. You want to go to one-to-many, many-to-one, think, pair, and share. You want to go for... Uh, you do the assessment first and then the class you want to go for inductive and deductive, you go for example first and then the definition or the definition first and then go uh, and then uh, continue by the examples. This is all about pedagogy. Then baru lah pilih technology. But, but right now I can see because of COVID-19, people jadi pening. Because of what? Because of people, keep, we keep on thinking about that technology. iPhone ke Android? Nak guna quizzes ke Kahoot? Nak guna um, uh, apa? Nak guna Discord ke? Nak guna Facebook? Nak guna OBS ke? Nak guna Excel? Nak guna uh, nak guna YouTube ke? Nak guna WhatsApp saja? So uh, my beloved colleagues actually think about the the learning preferences normally will show you the direction. So macam yang tadi menjawab soalan Dr Shafina. Shafinas, betul kan Shafinas? Okay. Ya, saya. Ha. Mengguna, nak guna kahut ke, nak guna apa? Your learning preferences will direct you. Barulah kita tahu konten banyak, mana nak guna, teknologi apa nak pakai. Kalau kita, if we do the questionnaire, only 20% has the technology, has the connectivity, then you should go back to maybe, um, 
SMS or maybe to WhatsApp. You can use it as a synchronous, uh, synchronous uh, of you, or you can use uh, quizzes uh, using Telegram. You can uh, find from Dr. Hamimi channel, uh, YouTube, how to uh, create a quiz from a multiple choice question from uh, uh, using uh, Telegram. So, baru dah sudah rasa, wah, saya tak ada, tak boleh buka kahut pun, Dr. Shafina masih lagi meraihkan saya, entertain me with, uh, with what I have in our, in my hometown. Baru dah sudah rasa, wow, teaching and learning still berjalan business as usual. So, when we consider with this Ganye nine event of instruction, I will show, I will share with all of you what, what uh, Ganye nine event of instruction are all about after this. And the feedback and reflection from the student will keep on um, kita polishing the content from time to time. So uh, the junior will get better content, the junior will get better content because uh, our materials, actually, we can copy, we can edit. And using the video, actually, you can play me, you can uh, rewind me, you can forward me uh, so that your learning buffet, let's say your learning materials is not that many, okay? Tak banyak pun. Video dalam kelas uh, Dr. Shafinas, contohnya video ada tiga, audio ada tiga, PDF ada tiga. Tak banyak. Tapi kami semua, but we are happy. Rather than, wah dalam uh, Dr. Shafinas selepas pergi bengkel Dr. Hamimi ni, video dia ada hundred. Dia punya PDF dia ada banyak, lepas tu student cari dah sendiri, you just google it and then dia punya education materials yang lain pun banyak but actually none of them really fit with the requirement of your student. Validation, kalau tadi validation by the master chef, now validation by the SME. Now you are the master chef, you tahu daripada bahan ni, you check with your faculty members uh, whether okay this time we don't need too long. We need to chunk it uh, into five parts. Okay, the first part, the theory, the practice, kemudian dia punya uh, discussion with students. Uh, rather than you give, uh, ambil video dua jam, you tengok dah sendiri. Kita kena chunk supaya student tu, maybe they would like to watch the third part only. <coughs> maybe the fifth part only, the final part that really uh, attracts them. Okay. And you need to put tagging. That's why we have hashtag, hashtag problem based learning, hashtag uh, thermodynamics, hashtag anatomy 101, hashtag uh, um, Shafinas uh, Sam 2021 Jadi student nak cari pun senang sebab kita letak tagging. Kalau tidak, our student keep on tanya, Dr. Shafina ni daging ke kambing? Dah kambing. Second, daging ke kambing? Kambing. Third student, daging ke kambing? Dr. Shafina pun kambing. Okay. Sama juga macam kita punya learning buffet tu. Doktor, ini uh, sen ni ke sen depan? Sen depan. Sen dua, sen ni ke sen depan? Sen depan. The third student come, okay. Doktor, you tengok Dr. Shafina akan naik angin eh. Sebab kita sendiri kelemahan kita, kita tak tag pun, letak tagging kepada our materials. Alright, sebab tu kita naik kapal terbang pun, when we uh, we go along with the menu, film, dia ada kan, 18SG, 80SX. Easy for us, to, because, okay, this action movie, this is thriller, this is a uh, thrill movie, this is a uh, comedy, easy for us to choose. Okay, so this is nine Ganye event of instruction. Okay, you need to gain, at gain attention from your student first. Jangan terus, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, we will start with our new gain attention first. Sebab tu, bila masuk, saya get attention. Use padlet, guna kahut, dah dapat attention from your student, baru bagi tahu inform, inform learning outcomes, stimulate and recall prior knowledge. Jangan terus start. Kaitkan dulu. Please relate with the prior knowledge of uh, last week, uh, what we have discussed. And baru start present a new content, provide guidance, provide learning activities, and don't forget to provide feedback and assess learning whether, whether they, they, they got it or not. 
and enhance retention and transfer use your using your your WhatsApp uh, or Telegram. Some some uh, lecturers they will ask me, doctor, I'm not available in in WhatsApp or Telegram twenty four seven, doctor. How can I always res give response to my student? I have seven to eight groups. Uh, this is what how we can appoint the co-pilot in our class. You we can see a uh, brilliant brilliant student. Eh? You appoint them to be your co-pilot any question from the student okay normally you will encourage student to answer students question from student to students okay ada je soalan okay i would like to uh, to ask uh, other other student to uh, to answer back kita lagi ada chat ada kat chatting tu saya akan buka balik but uh, i will ask a student to answer first and when a student keep on asking and and answering kita sebenarnya menggalakkan mereka untuk menjawab asking and questioning and then answering last nanti kita scroll up scroll down then kita validate which one is the most appropriate answer yang mana yang salah jangan kita kata you are you are wrong totally wrong kita just kata wah wow, good uh, good effort okay good try okay uh, but according to this uh, scholar, uh, the the preparation or the answer for this question is blah blah blah. So student, yang salah pun, okay. Next time I nak cuba lagi. Next time nak buat lagi. Next time nak cuba lagi lewat. So student uh, using the this scaffolding technique actually they will gain more and more more knowledge uh, from their peers. So this is what we call pedagogy or paragogy when students learn better from their peers. If they are good in pedagogy, they are, they are good in learning from their peers, barulah kita boleh jump kepada hiutagogy di mana pelajar tu boleh ada self-directed learning, pembelajaran secara kendiri. If you just jump to hiutagogy kepada self-directed learning without going to pedagogy which is a peer-to-peer -peer first, agak macam lah. Okay, it's quite challenging. Okay, so do you have questions so far? I would like to scroll down from the chat. From macam mana kalau asynchronous teaching, how we can make interesting and know the student responses. Okay, asynchronous maksudnya tidak segera lah, okay? Tidak segera macam saya sebut tadi. Um, kita bagi kan, let's say we have one hour. The first 15 to 20 minutes to the synchronous or you have five uh, to 10 minutes. So you 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 just make sure you grab uh, the grab you grab the punya attention betul betul then beritahu okay uh, after this we will go to a synchronous uh, session uh, make sure uh, apa tu uh, the the question uh, from this uh, particular notes saya nak question come from every group so kita rather than you give the you feed them ask the student to be the lecturer as well. Boleh minta dia bertanya, uh, boleh minta dia cari bahan, share dengan kita. So, dari situ pelajar diberikan role. Okay, macam kita mengajar orang uh, memandu eh. Macam kita mengajar orang memandu, rather than uh, you ask them to sit uh, uh, next to you, kita yang bawa kereta, okay tengok ni kita kata, mula-mula pegang steering, okay second, uh, push the clutch and then release the accelerator little bit little bit little bit patu dia duduk kat sebelah ni pun oh oh like that ah oh like that okay and then when you change uh, the seat okay students uh, or this uh, 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 student start to drive the car kita pun bagi suara arahan okay uh, first what okay uh, push the clutch okay so it will take longer and longer time but right now if uh, you ask you ask your student to be in the driver's seat and then you give them the first hand experience. Okay, now first do this and do that. They will learn faster from their mistake. Lagi cepat daripada kita just minta dia tengok kita yang tunjuk. So for a synchronous, normally uh, uh, if we can catch the interest of our student, what do they love? Maybe uh, for a synchronous, normally I, I, I ask my student to make a, a Instagram 59, not more than 59 second Instagram uh, video, okay, to 
a record in their Instagram and they will tag me Dr. Hamimi. Okay, so uh, synchronous, so they will see when they record their understanding, they put it, maybe they put it public or maybe they put it private. Uh, others, uh, their, their friends will comment, like, and they will start with, oh, lemak, bestnya. Dulu what, saya buat apa-apa, saya faham ke, tak faham ke, tak ada siapa yang tengok. Tapi sekarang ini, now I understand, people uh, people will understand, people will get benefit from my from from my short video. Doktor-doktor pun uh, will uh, dapat uh, saya punya e-portfolio. Kalau dia rasa malu, uh, kita boleh sharekan saja video tu dalam group untuk kita punya internal use uh, only. So, itu cara yang kita uh, saya boleh cadangkan untuk synchronous teaching. Macam mana nak jadikan lebih menarik. Okay. Uh, right. So, this is our uh, normal or typical flip classroom uh, model when uh, we divide we divide it into two uh, from uh, Bloom Taxonomy. Uh, we have remember, understand and apply and high order thinking. We have analyze, evaluate and create. So, outside class, uh, select the content, uh, uh, select delivery method, create or find content. So, in class, using our WebEx or our Zoom, normally we will assess, select activity and coach student. So, um, if you want to transform this kind of flip class uh, design process, uh, we need to interject or we need to uh, inculcate some uh, characteristic of uh, pedagogy and heutagogy. That means you ask your student to be independent, but uh, because right now, uh, when we, 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 we uh, coined the terms heutagogy, uh, more and more people, edu educators, will say, uh, don't give your student fish because tomorrow they will ask for another fish. Now you give them the fishing rod, ask them to fish. But for me, the fishing rod itself, not enough. Okay, we need to supply them also with the manual, with the manual. Because why? Right now, if you give them, pass them fishing rod, after two hours, they will come with the fishing rod with no fish. Oh, doctor, you bagi fishing rod, tak ada ikan pun. Kita pun kata, macam mana tak ada ikan pula ni? Oh, we forget to give them the manual. Okay, so you give them the fishing rod and we, you give them the manual. Okay, from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., go to this spot A. Okay, there will be a lot of fishes there. But after 7 a.m., don't wait. Transfer or go to uh, point B. Go to point B because point B, point A, after 7 a.m., people will go to another places. Tak ada kat situ. Don't wait. Pergi kepada ni. Yang tadi student you ni, pukul 6 hingga 7, dia tunggu kat spot B. Tak ada ikan. Pukul 7, dia pun, oh give up lah, tak ada kat sini. Dia pun pergi kat spot A pukul 7. Tak ada ikan juga. This is what happened in our flip classroom. When you ask your student to go and search for educational materials, you just ask them to Google je. Betul? You so cari kat journal, cari je dekat journal uh, teaching and learning. Journal teaching and learning yang mana. Kita kita bagi the link journal yang mana. Ataupun journal teaching and learning keluaran uh, contohnya kita kata Taylor and Francis. Okay, this is a free journal. Okay, uh, just go uh, uh, Tengok journal yang pada 2020 dan 2021. So, pelajar pun seronok. For a synchronous class pun, bila you punya instruction clear and very precise, baru pelajar minat untuk mengikutinya. To comply with your instruction. Rather than you kata, Google je, this is the journal, you tengok lah from uh, 2001 until 2021. So, pelajar pun, oh, memang dia tutup video and then dia tidur. Tapi kalau kita bagi instruction yang betul-betul spesifik, bukan kita kata spesifik itu terlampau spoon feed, tetapi kita kawal. Okay, so the 21st century skills tu 
browsing the content from internet dia dah diperkenalkan dah dengan jurnal-jurnal di dalam bidangnya video-video uh, channel uh, scholars-scholars okey bila tengok kat channel YouTube jangan minta so cari kat YouTube saja cari YouTube channel siapa Isaac Newton uh, video uh, video YouTube from Dr Shafina Dr Dayang Azra so student akan lebih ni kemudian dia akan share pula video tu with other people and then got you share my video with a student from UPM and then got their responses and you after this group got video from Unimas and UIA then got some response pelajar akan rasa seronok sangat dengan kelas kita because we give them the fishing rod and as uh, at the same time we give them the medals what to do what's next what's after this bukannya kita spoon food spoon feed dia bagi satu persatu tapi arahan kita so this kind of uh, gamification what to do this after this what after this after this okay so kalau tidak we will be just stage on stage virtually sekarang ni kita rasa kita bukan tak ada stage dah tapi sebenarnya kita menempatkan diri kita stage on stage tapi secara virtually duduk dekat sepan ni student dalam kelas juga tetapi semua dekat PC masing-masing walhal sedangkan mereka ni ada yang sedang bawa grab ada yang sedang swimming semuanya sedang mengikuti kelas kita tapi adakah kita perlu swim kita perlu basuh kain sama macam mereka tidak tapi kita sesuaikan bahan kita supaya mereka buat apa-apa masih lagi mereka boleh mentelaah and boleh meneliti bahan kita okey right so this is a learning pyramid okey uh, kalau untuk synchronous tu kita minta mereka create discussion group practice by doing and teach others uh, inilah cara-cara untuk kita nak pastikan supaya participatory teaching methods will take uh, lead okay uh, rather than we just give uh, ask them to read and to go for visual and ask them to do some kind of demonstration So actually uh, a flip learning network FLN uh, distinguishes uh, between a flip classroom and flip learning. So actually flip learning flip classroom ramai sebenarnya dah tahu you terbalikkan uh, aktiviti dalam kelas lecture tu dibuat sebelum datang kelas. Dalam kelas ni kita banyak active learning ask them to discuss but actually flip learning is uh, some kind of uh, dynamic uh, punya horizon lah flipping a class does not necessarily lead to flip learning so i have flipped my whole learning my teacher learning not just my class and many teachers may already flip their class by having students uh, read text outside of class watch supplemental videos or solve additional problem uh, but flip learning actually is a pedagogical approach in which a direct instruction moves from the group learning space to e the individual learning space ha ini dia Dr. Dedi and gentlemen yang saya nak bawakan sebenarnya kita nak transform, kita go from group learning, kita make sure they they master and then to go to individual learning space so kalau nak tahu yang ni, kita kena uh, workshop yang lain pula bagaimana kita nak buat piragogi uh, dan hiutagogi dengan bantuan cybergogi dengan adanya cyber ni membantu kita untuk uh, to transform our a pedagogy to um, pedagogy and to heutagogy right the resulting group space is transformed into a dynamic and interactive learning environment where the educator guides students as they apply apply concept and engage creatively in the subject matter right so this uh, from flip classroom this is a flip learning f l i p f for flexible environment Adakah kita memberikan uh, flexible environment betul-betul kepada pelajar kita? Bolehkah kita bagi assignment sekarang, kita bagi tak flexible masa untuk dia menghantar kerja itu mengikut kepada connectivity yang mereka ada. Kadang-kadang tak ada connectivity, kita within one hour, I don't know whether you want to uh, by hook or by crook or after one hour, you need to pass up or you need to submit your assignment to me using email. Uh, budak yang tak ada internet tadi macam mana doktor? So flexible environment, L, learning culture, student opportunity to engage in meaningful activities without the teacher being central. Uh, 
apa yang dimasukkan without the teacher being central nanti kita akan tengok satu video daripada NUS Nanyang University Singapore alright intentional content okay uh, whereby we prioritize concepts used in the direct instruction for learners to access own their own uh, bila ada bahan tu kita boleh sebelum kita assess we ask the student to be a peer assessment dapatkan dia punya feedback from their from colleagues lepas tu dia akan uh, dia akan uh, scaffold scaffold last sekali nanti baru kita akan check balik sebagai subject matter expert and professional FLIP the P is professional educator so kita kita campur uh, we merge between a local flavor video uh, educational material from Unimas from UPM from USAIM from IIUM from UMK from UKM and then kita mixed up with the uh, Uh, international flavor kita boleh ambil video daripada luar kita boleh ambil journal paper supaya pelajar kita mendapat first hand experience okay so this is a teacher centered classroom okay normally uh, teacher as a director this is the content this is the process and this is a product and where we buy students as a consumer so i just want to go to student centered classroom we buy students as creator Well, our students will uh, uh, akan melalui semua ni content, process, product, and teacher ni kita sebagai coach, learning coach, and sebagai guide saja. Okay. So uh, ramai yang bertanya kepada saya, doktor, kalau kita nak guna apps ni apa, doktor ya? Saya susah dah nak cari sebenarnya. Sebenarnya kita boleh check kepada pedagogy wheel ni yang dibangunkan. So uh, I will show you the pedagogy wheel. It is an everyday tools that can be readily used by everyday educators from curriculum planning and development to writing learning objective and designing center activities. And the idea is for the users to respond to the challenges that the wheel presents for their teaching practices and to ask themselves the tough question about their choice and methods. Okay. Okay, doktor, uh, saya nampak ke pada Goji Will ni? Nampak, nampak. Jelas. Okay, saya besarkan sikit. Okay, right. Okay, so from here, you boleh tengok. Okay, ramai yang berkata sebelum uh, kalau nak buat flip classroom ni, bagi pelajar tengok video dahulu. Okay, now if you like to transform our flip learning before class kita boleh tengok kalau pelajar ni kita nak letakkan di mana. Okay, lihat kepada kita punya uh, blue taxonomy. You can start with the video blog, uh, uh, boleh letak uh, cartoon, storytelling, ada setengah music, faculty music di UITM tu mereka menggunakan rap song. Keluarkan rap song, biar pelajar ni tengok dulu, dengar and then rhythm baru nanti dalam kelas mereka akan bincang. Rhythm, rhythm, lyrics dan sebagainya. Okay, kita boleh tengok kepada play game, quiz, timeline, summary, conclusion, boleh buat uh, show and tell, boleh buat journal, diary, annotation, metaphors, boleh buat uh, uh, demonstration, tengok demonstration and then baru pergi, kita pergi kepada tajuk hari ini. Role plays, presentation, scrapbook, drawing diagram, screen captures, animation, boleh buat questionnaire dulu and surprisingly in this semester first class before uh, coming to class I ask my student to create or to develop a FAQ frequent asked question jadi pelajar ni eh doktor apa nak tanya doktor tak belajar lagi ni ha jadi sebelum dia begitu dia akan tahu macam mana nak membangunkan how to develop a FAQ Week one, bila dia dapat je maklumat, okay, and then they will start to polish the FAQ, okay, soalan ni. Kemudian week two, oh padam, 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 polish lagi FAQ dia. Sorry, uh, sorry Prof, Prof yeah. nak tunjuk yang pedagogi wheel ni ada ada any ada apa ni, um, additional ni slide lain ke? Kalau yang nampak ni kami nampak yang uh, powerpoint sahaja. Oh, yang PDF bukan? PDF tak nampak? Ah, PDF nampak? Ah, so this ah, is the one. Yang sekarang PDF. 
Ya, ya betul. Okay, okay betul. Okay. Alright. Okay, so kita uh, bila dah week 14, barulah pelajar nampak, oh inilah dia rupanya FAQ untuk subjek ini pada week 14. Tapi behind the scene, kerja mengedit, mendapatkan maklumat sebab in order for you to get FAQ, you need to write. You need to read first and then you need to write. So rather than kita bagi pelajar ni, uh, read this journal, read this article, kita bagi dia satu task. Yang tas itu di belakang sebenarnya ada aktiviti read yang pelajar rasanya ramai tak suka sangat bila kita kata read. Tapi bila kita minta mereka bangunkan satu projek dalam masa sama, dia kena read. Betul kan? Uh, Ini rasa, 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 rasa. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nak tanya yang will, will tu Uh, prof nak showkan will ke ataupun tak sebab background dia warna purple? Memang yang ni eh? Background warna purple? Yang PDF, PDF ada pedagogy will? Tadi. Tak, uh, tak nampak, uh, saya macam tak nampak. Okay, Kak Mimi, yeah. I think what uh, <laughs> Lina is trying to ask is uh, is there supposed to be a will? We don't see a will. There is no uh, movement, there's no will. Cuma ada I satu. Tanya. Rasanya doktor perlu unshare the powerpoint and then share balik the pdf. Mungkin dia masih share the oh, sebab saya tanya tadi katanya nampak. Dia bukan powerpoint, dia pdf. Ah, yang ni. Yang ni tak nampak. Ini, ini baru pdf yang tadi yes. powerpoint, betul. Yes. Tak nampak. Uh. Sorry, oh, doktor kami ni, we are still Allah. learning. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Alright, it's okay, it's okay. Sebab uh, macam ni, uh, yang pada Goji Will ni saya nak letak dalam powerpoint tapi dia besar sangat Nanti susah nak enlarge jadi saya terpaksa ha. singkat ke ni dulu Okay, sekarang nampak yang PDF ni pada Goji Will dah nampak eh? Okay, okay. okay. Ha, ha. Nampak separuh je sebab dia besar kan? So, okay. so saya ini. kerakkan Scroll. ni sendiri Okay, inilah saya sebut tadi kalau kita rasa ha. nak uh, application Dah ada dah, you, verb dah siap dah You pilih aktiviti yang you nak and then tools yang kita bimbangkan tu dah ada semua kat sini dah. Okay, kalau kita nak buat uh, play games, okay, semua dah ada kat sini. And all of these are free of charge. Kalau nak bayar, boleh PM saya PM tepi eh. Tapi ni semua free ni. Okay, kalau kita nak buat uh, share, kalau kita nak buat sketch untuk architecture, sketch dan sebagainya, boleh gunakan ni. Ada map formula, Google slide, flashcard. Kemudian kalau kita nak buat survey, ada banyak survey monkey, Google Sheets, Evernote, Dropbox, Simple Mind, Grapher. Dan kalau kita nak minta mereka bangunkan, bagi opinion, investigation, hypothesis, kita boleh gunakan Skywars app. Ada banyak lagi kita boleh gunakan daripada pedagogy wheel. Right. So nanti yang ni semua saya akan tinggalkan kepada partisipan hari ni Boleh minta daripada urus dia Ataupun kalau tak nak pun boleh je Nak google the pedagogy wheel uh, version 5.0 for Android Walaupun di sini dia, dia tuliskan Android uh, People are use, people who use iOS actually can find a similar application from your uh, Apple Store Okay? Alright So saya share ada lagi 8 minit sahaja Lebih kurang Okay macam mana participant? Boleh ke saya sambung ataupun nak stop dah? Boleh boleh Dr. Hafini, I'm good Okay Okay, right Okay so um, This is from uh, Nighting Hill Okay, banyak sebenarnya kita nak buat aktiviti untuk flip learning ni Kita boleh selarikan Okay, make it a parallel with our LO. Tengok LO kita, kita dah ada kat mana, dia dah ada tawaran. Tapi MPA dah bantu kita sebenarnya. Tapi kalau kita nak buat aktiviti, macam tadi doktor tanya macam mana untuk synchronous, normally I will suggest this one. Okay, you can start with maybe essay, maybe presentation, project, report and short answer question. Okay, and also for assessing, managing and communicating. Okay. This is a video from uh, Graduate Medical School Singapore, NUS, Duke NUS. You can see, uh, this is my dream flip learning. And if uh, Kam can do this in Unimas, 
uh, FPSK or FPG uh, dentist, you can do this in Unimas. It would be very, very beneficial, inshallah. Let's, let's watch this video. Team Lead is the local Duke NUS adaptation of a learning process called team-based learning. The uh, essential issue in Team Lead is to put the primary responsibility for learning on the student. And so the students prepare a defined set of materials. That can include uh, several Duke lectures from Durham, North Carolina. It can be book chapters that they might have to read about the content. Uh, articles of the current literature and research, a variety of things that the faculty have decided will cover the core principles that they want them to know before they come into class. The students come in on Monday and Thursday mornings. They then have 30 minutes to complete an individual readiness assessment exam of 25 questions. The exam questions are well written and not ambiguous. And so the students then are engaged then in a serious process. Uh, how much have I learned? And there's an, an element of individual responsibility. At the end of that 30 minutes, there's a very exciting event, which is when the students turn from struggling as an individual to then being able to talk with their teammates. And uh, I never tire of watching this transition. Then the instant the clock goes, suddenly the volume goes very, very high and they're all talking and discussing and, and now the team has to do the same test again. And for each question, the team only gets to submit one answer. So part of what this methodology does is it forces a student to explain why I know this to be the right answer. This is how I understand it and this is why I understand it. And try to convince the other students and have a discussion about it. And it's through that discussion that they can crystallize their ideas and remember it a lot better. Part of what Team Lead is designed to do is help the students begin to take ownership in their own learning and understand where their gaps are and what they know and what they don't know. The next phase of that process, the students then have to ask questions about their gaps. We would ask each group to write down their questions and we would assign those questions to another group to answer in a formal way. So one group would write down the question and we would say, take this question and give it to another group. Give all the groups 10 minutes to prepare and then have a group discussion. Each session, we assigned a student to stand at the front of the class and facilitate the discussion. Any more questions about the uh, uh, center middle uh, please, please raise up. Basically, they have a control which would give you no information. The faculty will be around to help them answer their doubts. But we have modified it in such a way that we don't answer them firsthand. We get the students to answer each other's queries as a big team. They look under the microscope, you know where these IgGs are located, where the immunoglobulins are located. afternoon, the, uh, the students uh, go through a process called an application session in which they problem solve clinical cases, clinical uh, scenarios based on the information uh, that they've learned earlier. So the students are working through the case problem, the patient, the issues, the answers, and the faculty are working through the same problem. First of all, we're analyzing the problem. Is this an important case scenario? Are we sure we're asking a good question? What is the learning that we're trying to achieve? As a faculty member, we spend a lot of time writing the questions really well. This is all done behind the scenes. What we do not spend our time doing is talking to the students directly. It's the students who talk. Okay, question number one. Let me start with uh, group seven. Let's say if we have a uh, lesion like two and three, but they, have, they recently changed in size, would you actually uh, Think that it might be uh, because of the way the answers are to be derived at with the team dynamics, everybody in that team of seven needs to agree on one common answer before they commit. And through that process, we hope that they will learn to listen to each other. They will learn to agree with each other. Team lead works because the faculty work as a team as well. 
faculty members take on different roles, they help each other, they work together to be able to deliver this educational program. Our faculty are role modeling what we want our students to do. Where I used to go for undergrad, it was very lecture based. The professor just stands and talk and we just take notes ferociously and try to remember every single detail we could. Whereas in team lead, it's very different. All right. <clears throat> okay, so this is um, for, not just for medical, eh? for, for other faculty, you can, you can imagine this because now online, uh, maybe for face-to-face -face class, it's not easy for you to arrange that class to be put in names of our, our students, right, right? But now you can use uh, WebEx, you can use Teams and Zoom to do the breakout room. So you can see all the, uh, the classes was conducted by the student, but the faculty members are there actually to support them, to scaffold them, right? Uh, so this is another, uh, how can we transform rather than uh, people are coming from uh, economics for accounting, normally they will ask doktor macam mana nak nak kasi belajar nombor ni uh, pelajar lebih rasa seronok okey let's see all right okey uh, bila tu, boleh tengok apa uh, di uh, youtube kalau nak tengok lebih penuh lagi hans rolling hans rosling uh, bbc eh macam mana dia menerangkan how did he kalau saya rasa kalau inilah saya dapat dulu kalau belajar sejarah Allah saya rasa kita boleh cakap macam-macam lah eh. Mungkin saya akan minat sejarah, saya akan minat ambil accounting kalau lah pengajaran dia berbentuk begitu. Doesn't it? So, uh, leveraging technology. Okay. So, actually, kita nak guna technology. Let's say, of course, uh, as the most thing of life, uh, it will be shortcomings when we over dependent on technology. Uh, it will become uh, ineffective. But uh, technology should always be used in tandem with pedagogical principles uh, because it's not the only thing, but it will add value, right? So my advice would be that actually lectures are not necessarily bad. Dan kata Hamimi ini menentang lectures tidak. In some disciplines, in some cases, lectures are appropriate and relevant. However, in PDPR settings, or in um, our setting right now, um, in ODL or distant learning, one period is too short, typically one hour or so, and usually the focus is to giving content to the student. And there is not enough time, ladies and gentlemen, for questioning, reflecting, interaction, discussion, and uh, opportunity for active learning. So, um, even though kita tengok sekarang ni classroom here, it's a teacher-centered, we can choose at high tech, Macam Dr. Shafina sebut tadi, we can go to kinesthetic learning, differentiate, uh, differentiated instruction, expeditionary learning for uh, low tech and to go towards student-centered and student with high bandwidth, kita gunalah yang kita boleh gunakan video conferences like WebEx on, and audio conferences. Both for low bandwidth, if you want a high immediate uh, or immediate response from our student, go for collaborative documents like Google Docs, uh, like a SharePoint in Microsoft Teams, in Microsoft, or group chat and messaging. But if you want a uh, high, sorry, high uh, uh, and immediate response, but if you want low uh, for synchronous, go for email, readings with text and image, and discussion board with text and images. Okay, so consider uh, these three uh, points. Deliver foundational content before lesson, be well organized, or your student will get confused and explain why they are learning this way, why we should flip their classroom, or they will not trust it. Okay, <clears throat> so feedback in PDPR, Mentimeter Ramai yang sebut feedback tadi, plan a lot of stops along the way, and ada banyak pause, you, sometimes you need to know how, to, where, and when to pause. Jangan gudu-gudu-gudu cakap macam kereta api, pelajar kita tak akan faham. Because when a student is right next to you, it is easy to notice something. Dia ada di depan kita, easy to notice. But when teaching from distance, that is not possible. And encourage uh, peer feedback. This is pedagogy, peer feedback, not just from the lecturer. Be seen and be heard. You have a facial expression and tones in your voice that student relate, whether you know it or not. 
Gunakan relate panggil Ahmad. Ahmad boleh jawab tak Ahmad? Open your mic, open your video. Because in addition to recording the initial contents also record individualized feedback. Kita record juga individual feedback so student will, will, will feel that they have been seen and they have been heard. So I think that's all from me. So, uh, I'm so sorry be, uh, for any breakdown or shortcomings. Ada kelemahan apa-apa uh, because I have only two hours. Uh, I hope that I have uh, I have do justice for Kam. So kalau nak mengajar macam Hans Rosling tadi, boleh type, boleh bincang dengan Kam macam mana you nak cantikkan you punya material supaya pelajar kita minat. And uh, tadi uh, cara yang dibuat oleh uh, NUS tadi, not just for medical, uh, maybe they, they have spent a full day, uh, but maybe for your faculty you can chunk it into three session. Maybe yang 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 the first yang student tu dia tak ada lecturer pun dalam kelas betul tak? Ada timer aja, tetapi instruction dia very solid, 30 minutes uh, individual, and then bunyi timer ti 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 ti. You go for task B, which is to discuss with your peers, and then after 30 minutes, and then baru bentangkan, barulah faculty members masuk dan komen apa pelajar-pelajar ni. Dan pelajar perlu confident with their choices, with their answers, kenapa dia memilih ini dan ni. Apatah lagi medik, kalau dia salah buat keputusan, akan menyebabkan nyawa pesakit. And so, all of you are unsung heroes. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see if we have any uh, ada 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 apa-apa ke soalan uh, Dr Dayang daripada chat yang saya tertinggal? Tak ada kot. Uh, okay so uh, thank you rasanya tu saja kot. Okay so thank you very much to Prof Associate Prof Dr Nohamimi. Okay so I will share if you have any question you can uh, um, put on your videos and then you can ask directly to Dr. Hamimi. Any question from the floor? Maybe you don't have any question right now. If you have any further oh. question, uh, don't hesitate to ask me. You can get me from yes. hamimi.com and then you can find me on YouTube. Uh, Dr. Hamimi, I will uh, love uh, to give responses to your uh, question, insyaAllah. Okay. So, Dr. Shafina, tak ada ke? Tak dengar suara sangat, eh? Hello, try a few things. Tak apa-apa, some is present. It's very successful. Let me... Insya Allah, apa nanti kita cari Dr. Kamimi, selebriti kita kat YouTube lah. Okay. Kamimi, boleh cari. Macam tak kuat sangat lah Dr. Kamimi. I think she is talking to somebody else. Ya ke? Asalnya ada je drama ni. Dr. Shafina said thank you very much to Dr. Kamimi and if anything she will contact Dr. Kamimi directly and maybe find your channel lah in YouTube. Okay, insyaAllah. Thank you very much, Dr. Hamimi. So, uh, maybe one last question from me lah, Doktor. Rasanya it's quite difficult untuk kita buat asynchronous and also to gain attention from the students. Basically, most of the lecturer, they prefer to do asynchronous but, uh, sebab mungkin disebabkan oleh internet connection and so on. But when we put the asynchronous uh, learning and also teaching in our class, the student macam dia tak tengok pun. At the end macam apabila nak final baru dia buka video tu. Macam mana kita nak dia buat the activities everything but the video yang kita recorded tu dia tak tak tengok pun. Uh, macam mana kita nak uh, cater this situation? Okay good question uh, Dr. Dayang. Okay, hmm. macam saya sebut tadi, uh, kita encourage uh, uh, student bagi tas yang perlu dia melihat uh, every single element yang ada dalam video. Contohlah, eh, katakan video tu mungkin 
uh, kita boleh tanya kalau video tu terlalu panjang kita tanya we ask student why do you watch this this uh, video kalau dia kata oh, doktor this video is quite long uh, uh, very long for us to digest kan kita boleh cang kalau video pendek pula kenapa dia masih tak tengok mungkin kita bagi task tu tidak berkaitan tapi kalau contohnya doktor dah letak eh, very specific okay this is a five minute video from doktor katakan doktor Shazrina eh this uh, from doktor Shazrina this is five minute video i want you to focus from minute 2 until minute 4 very very specific lepas tu kita bagikan siap-siap kan uh, katakan dalam kelas doktor ada 25 pelajar itu kalau kecil-kecil lah kalau besar kan so, uh, kita katakan yang I nak daripada grup ni you tengok first uh, minute sampai ni lepas tu you kena keluarkan apa you kena keluarkan characteristic of mob okay itu uh, minute satu sebagai minute kedua minute kedua sampai minute ketiga adalah dia memberitahu types of learning okay grup sekian kena bagi ni jadi nak tak nak doktor dia tak akan boleh jawab kecuali dia go through that video. Uh, so okay. ada task yang yang berkaitan tu insyaAllah dia akan melihat. Kadang-kadang kita terlampau banyak video dan sebagainya ataupun satu lagi cara adalah kita minta dia datangkan video yang tu confirm doktor dia kena tengok betul tak? Uh, you okay. datangkan video lepas tu kalau kita rasa yes this is the video that I mentioned. Dia kata good one Sarah inilah video yang sebenarnya doktor Dayang nak bagi. So dia pun ish bagulah doktor ni dia saya dah cari dan dia hargai ataupun okey video yang you all kumpulkan ni semuanya okey tapi uh, saya ada satu video lagi yang boleh compliment is a compliment rather than kita kata video kamu ni semua tak tak bagus lah video yang saya buat ni lagi bagus tapi kita kata compliment uh, video yang telah kamu sharekan so itulah cara-cara salah satu cara yang kita boleh uh, menambah minat untuk a synchronous session ni okey so thank you uh, doctor. Okay, so with that I would like to conclude our workshop for today. So we thought, uh, we hope that you found the sharing valuable for you to develop your own teaching portfolio. We hope that you will be getting some inspirations to conducting your online teaching and learning.